<clears throat> well, that's close. No, Doss Butler is mine. My name is you Huckleberry Hound. What? Huckleberry Hound. Oh. And I also, uh, I'm a bear. I'm Yogi Bear. Oh. And I'm a cat. Uh, Mr. Jinx is the name, and uh, I like to chase those miserable Mises, you know. <laughs> yep. Just the right setting for the nutritious breakfast you need. Right. It, it's gone. You can't get away with the crunch, because the crunch always gives you away. Aha! By the way, cat, just what is a family gradanza? I'll tell you this. It's not in the unabridged dictionary. But let's find that thing and get rid of that cat. If Robin Hood were put alive today, to help the poor woodland creatures from the hunter's gun, etc., etc. <laughs> Heavens to Murgatroyd! <laughs> Exit Marius Ever, stage left. A correction, monsieur. I am not the auto mechanic. I am Loopy the Loop, the wolf. I, Loopy, do not think like other wolves. I am considerate, charming, helpful. Oh, pleasure, Mary Poppins. <laughs> You're our favorite person. Millicent. No, all we need is a big old fat pumpkin. What a pity. What a pity. It's the cruelest mean I've ever heard of. Super banana. <laughs> oh, that's good. I haven't slept for four nights. And she put me to sleep? Mildred, put me to sleep. But, Dad, you're not going to break your word, are you? Well, he can take you for healthy horseback rides, Flabby Dad. Can't you, Roscoe? Are you hurt? Tall in the saddle, Dad? Ah, uh, ladies, thanks for the basket. Uh, don't worry, I won't turn you in. They were two of the cutest little old ladies you ever saw, Boo. I guess they, uh, just like bears. Maybe so, Boo Boo. But I don't think it does a thing for me. Yay! Oh, Pappy, we have chicken hogs. Why can't we have chicken? Because there just ain't no chickens around here. That's why. Have some black-eyed peas, Elvis. They don't even look like black-eyed peas, Pappy. Take another look, boy. But I want to stay in business. How can I do it? Spend his profit on machinery? When does it all end? By thunder, if that's the way it's done, I'll do it. Esta hora de famosa, muy plenty stinko borracho. I'm sore now, so I'm gonna have to use my patented, never fail, hippo, hurricane, holler. Oh, gee, doctor. I mean, uh, don't feel so bad. With your talent, you can do big things. My, 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 my. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the land of expectations. Uh, to the land of expectations. We certainly don't get many travelers these days. Now, what can I do for you? I'm the weatherman. I must have your names before you can proceed. If you'll just tell me when you were born, where you were born, why you were born, how old you are, how old you were then, what grade you're in. Welcome to you, your faithful dog. And that handsome gentleman. I'm so terribly happy to see all of you. And what have we here? Aha! I see breakfast! Yeah. An idea. Uh, if there's one thing I can't swallow, it's an idea. Will you carry it off, Scooby-Doo? <laughs> okay, into the machine. One, two, and a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> well, there you are, son. When I promises to take you on a picnic, I picture you on a picnic, right? <laughs> That's my boy. Now there is a dumb dog. Excuse me. Oh, it's been a bad day, Ding, my friend. We found no food for our empty stomachs. We might as well go home. Could be trouble up ahead. One of those game wardens. <clears throat> Good day, sir. What is this notice I notice? Okay, Morton. We got enough chow for a week. <laughs> well, we better get going. Hey, Morton. 
Uh, why don't we just get rid of the cat? Oh, uh, yeah, Ralph. Why don't we just get rid of the cat? No, oh, I got him. Uh, just send it down uh, where I can reach it. <laughs> Did my spear fishing up scare you? Hiya, Fred. And uh, what are you made up for? I'm gonna practice spear fishing. Oh, you can't lose. You'll either spare them or they'll die laughing. <laughs> Now you've done it? Down! Down! Down, darn yarn! Something very magic about this ball of yarn. Yeah, between you and me, I think the wicked wazir is a wizard. As the official judge, I unanimously declare that the winner of the first prize is Sweepy for his strongman float. Well, I hope all Spacely has decided to merge with Cogswell's Cosmic Cogs, because if he don't, this place will wind up selling space cycles. <laughs> Only a couple, Mom. See, uh, I'm trying to invent some tablets that'll make you fly. Gee, maybe I should cut down on the uranium mixture. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa there! Whoa! <laughs> Easy does it! Sometimes it just won't pay me no mind. <laughs> no time like the present for the present, Dixie. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Mr. Jinx. Why, good uh, gosh, fellas. And after all these years of me pursuing you with a broom, you shouldn't have. You're, You're so, so right. Good gracious, Maggie. Well, what are you wearing? Masquerade. Oh, dear. I'll put on my costume right away. How'd you steal a chicken, huh? Mm -mm. If I catch you with another chicken, I'll clobber you by crack. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's here, magical. Mm. Off to see the wizard is brought to you by... Tonight, friends, <laughs> the great Wizard of Oz will take us to the South Seas for our exciting story entitled Island of the Lost. Well, the wizard is your guy. What do we do with all the empty space in the vault where the money used to be, Mr. Bank President? See, Quickstraw, look. I think that fellow is riding a rail. Must be the poor feller can't afford a horse, Baba Louie. It's no sooner said than don't. And don't you forget it. Today, more juicy-tasting raisins are... Wait, that's my school. Then, hey, I'm the newscaster. <laughs> Wish I'd sung that. I, Wally Gator, will break out of here if I have to break out with the measles. <laughs> Surely Twiddle is just jesting. He better watch that creep before he falls asleep. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh. Don't be so jittery! To the king's rescue! Charge! Captain Carly, it's your service, sir. My credentials. You advertise for a first-rate pilot. <laughs> Sorry. Just a memento from my youth. Drop anchor! Aye, aye, Captain. All right, men. We will build an oil derrick on this spot. Now get to work. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, we used to call him the oily bird. <laughs> uh, this time we're gonna do something about it, Chili. Let's not wake up the bear, shall we? No, no. All right? All right. All right. Now I better change the station. I better go tell Maxie. Maxie, Maxie, wake up. Some people have come. They're gonna build oil well. No time for jokes, Maxie. Last time man put up oil well, it sprung a leak. Snooper detective agency, Snoop speaking. Uh, you saying your parents been bird napped? And you'll pay me a thousand pieces of eight if I find them? Sounds like a six old tree, Snoop. A good private eye has to speak several languages. Fire department, ma'am. Fireman Huckleberry speaking. How's that? Said dog, chase your kitty up a tree. Yo, don't you fret none, ma'am. I'll get that cat down in a hurry. Fire department to the rescue again. Come on, come on. I I'm gonna teach you tricks if it takes all night. Hi, hi, mule, mule. Hello, mule, hi. He's silly looking. Uh, let me carry him. I wanna carry him. 
Hey, fellas, look! A dog with a blue face! Well, that's okay with me, cause I'm not a dog neither. I'm really another little boy having a dream. Yes, Sarge. Investigate riot at Fifth and Stone Canyon. Right, Sarge. Over and out. Let's go, Pete. She looks like Wilma. Don't scare easy, Fred. We've been waiting 15 minutes. And she ain't rushed out looking for you yet. Oh, no, Fred. I, uh, just been going out too much lately. I think you ought to stay home, too, Fred. For heaven's sake. Why does she have to get me up so early? Why? Why? Why oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Why does a ghost have to learn to drive? Gently, gently. <laughs> yes, sir, I'm gonna have to tell the super to come more often to see how nice you treat us bears. I'm afraid y'all missed the big toe. Ah, <laughs> oh, quit your blubbering, blubber. That ain't a two-fisted thing to do. Well, you gotta admit, a blubber's good. Not the Hong Kong fool. Now listen, Kent, all you gotta do is tell me where your secret treasure is buried, and I'll let you go. You can't do that. He's just a little bitsy kid. See what you'll get for being nasty. Hardy, I think we got ourselves a housekeeper job. Oh, could you use a good cook? I say hello to the nice man, Junior. How about a sappy hat? <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Alice. What do you hear from Joe? Thank you, thank you. A little for me. Because we're the best. Because of all his exploration squads, we're the bravest and the brightest. Can I help it if the space station was out of unleaded? Anyway, we're here, and we've got a job to do. Winter. Winter, winter, winter. Winter. Early to bed and early to rise. Oh, no, look at that shameful flap, boy. I say flap. You gotta get rid of the dead wood. 